How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to be working on this HP. It's an HP Envy X360 convertible model number 15-DS1063CL. And in this video we're going to crack open the bottom case. We're going to upgrade the RAM. We're going to show how a battery would be replaced and we're also going to show how the SSD could be upgraded. Now I will have timestamps to all of that in the description of the video so you can skip to whatever part meets your needs. But before we get into that, I wanna give a shout out to Wade Davis on Instagram. He actually purchased this laptop from me. I post laptops on Instagram for sale. Shipping in the US, worldwide shipping, it doesn't make a difference to me. If it's worldwide, get ready to pay duties on it. If you live in a duty country, I'm not paying your duties for you. But I'm more than happy to find affordable laptops for people. I post them on my Instagram stories and people buy them. So shout out to Wade Davis, he bought this. Also, shout out to Amazon because I purchased this RAM this morning and it's already here this afternoon. Absolutely incredible. There's two by four gigabytes in here right now, I believe, and we're gonna be upgrading it to two by eight. So we're basically doubling the RAM from eight gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. This was about $95 on Amazon. I will put a link to it in the description. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at the college picker because that's where the laptop deals are going down. I'm not gonna sell them through the YouTube comments. It's gonna be through Instagram. With that being said, let's crack into this HP X360 convertible laptop. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the bottom case off. You're gonna need a Torx T5, and I have a Torx T5 right here. I use this little Husky tool that I got from the Home Depot. It has a bunch of Torx bits in it, but you could use any Torx kit, such as one like this that you can get off of Amazon or from Walmart. And we're gonna have to remove these two adhesive rubber strips on the bottom. And to do that, you're just going to take something sharp and plasticky and kind of pull up on the corner and you're just going to peel that strip off. On the bottom here, it doesn't look like you have to take the whole strip off. If we just peel the corners, that we can get to a screw right here and then we can get to a screw right here. But for the hinge side, you are going to have to take the strip entirely off because there's one, two, three, four, five screws. There's one T5 on the non-hinge side. We're going to take that screw out and set that aside. Then we're gonna to change to a Phillips head screwdriver and take off these screws. The way that HP builds these strips, it, adhesive may or may not come off. My adhesive strip stayed on the computer, so I'm gonna to try to salvage it if I can. If yours peels off on your strip, just put your strip to the side, adhesive up, so you don't lose any of the stickiness. We're gonna take out all five of these screws and then peel up the corners right here to take out those last two screws. Okay. Eight total screws came out. Now you're gonna take something flat and plastic and you're going to wanna to pry back here by the hinges where you removed. I'm just gonna slide that in there and put a little bit of upward pressure on it to try to allow me to get it up between the case and then I'm just gonna slide it and unhook some clips. You wanna be very gentle here because this is an all aluminum body. If you just start sliding and prying around, this, around the sides here, you're gonna stretch out your aluminum. You wanna be very, very gentle on how you do this. Now I have a little bit more room on this side. I'm just going to slide it through here and you can hear some clips coming off. Now it clicked and this is pretty much off. I'm just going to lift it up and put it on the side. So we have two fans. We got RAM underneath here. We got our battery here and we have our SSD right here. Before we do the RAM, we're going to remove and theoretically replace. I don't have another drive, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. 
via hard drive if we were to do that. This laptop came stock with the 512. If you wanted to upgrade it to a one or two terabyte, that'd be perfectly fine. I will put a link to a compatible hard drive in the description. It is a M.2 PCIe NVMe 2280 3D NAND SSD. And all you have to do is take out this one Phillips head screw right here, put that to the side, and then pull that SSD out just like that. Then you would put the new one in, put your screw back, and your SSD would be replaced. If you did replace your SSD, you will have to install another copy of Windows on it, which I'm not gonna show in this video, but I will put a link to it in the description to help you with that. Now these are internal batteries and they eventually will fail and you're gonna have to replace them. So to get this battery out, you're going to take out this screw right here, this screw right here, and this screw right here, this screw right here, this screw right here, and this screw right here. So a total of six screws came out, all the same size, and you're just going to lift up on the bottom here and then pull the battery out. And then to put your new battery in, you're going to just line it up right there with the contacts, press the battery into place, and then lower the bottom. Uh, there are a couple guiding posts down here that you're going to have to rest the battery on, and then you're just going to put the six screws back in. The battery model number is SA4XL, and the HP part number on this model is L43248-AC4. Now we're going to replace the RAM. It's underneath this little protective shield, so we're going to have to take that off. Now we're going to take out the old RAM, pull outwards on these little tabs, the RAM will flip up and then you're going to pull it out. Same on this side, pull outwards, the RAM flips up and then pull that RAM out. Now we're gonna be putting in two sticks of eight gigabytes DDR4 3200 SODIM RAM. And it only can go in one way. You have to look at the slot here. You gotta match it up with the slot on here. And for this one, I just have to put it in the opposite of how I took the other one out. Slide in those teeth and then press down, it'll click in. Same on the other side, slide in those teeth, press down and it should click in. Now we're going to put this cover back on by rotating it back over and then you're gonna wanna line it back up to the little teeth. We're going to put the bottom case back on which is just lining it up and then pressing down. You'll hear some clicks. Those are the tabs and everything kind of mating back together. And then we're going to put all of these screws back in. And then we're going to carefully replace this tape again. HP's design with this is kind of annoying in the fact that they don't just sell this bottom rubber by itself is extremely annoying because if you just took it off and you could buy it for a couple bucks, it'd be better to just put a new one on with new adhesive than to try to put this old stretch. Now it's even stretched out a little bit because of when I took it off. So I'm actually gonna have to cut it down slightly. I just cut it off a little bit because it overstretched when we took it off. It's gonna be hard to get it on exactly perfect once you've taken it off the first time. We're gonna power this on and check and see our beautiful 16 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs of beautiful operating memory. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.